In this video series, we will talk about programming and instructions. I've been writing programs for ten years, but the experience has always been mysterious and confusing, because most of the time I'm just piling up instructions to solve problems. But how do they actually do things? So this video series might be for you if you have the same questions hanging there. Typical programming courses only show you the problem you want to solve and the instructions you can use to solve them. There is an important piece missing here: the hardware. Without seeing how your instructions actually operate on the machine to perform the task, writing instructions is no different from casting spells. Just use a bunch of wizard words and then hocus pocus. So we are going to approach programming a bit differently here. I won't be talking about those high-level languages to do fancy stuff yet, because they don't relate to the machine operations directly. They need to be translated into the final machine codes that actually do the work. So I will focus on the low-level instructions operating on the hardware directly. We're going to see how exactly the instructions you use relate to the machine operation inside. This video series is possible because of the transparent CPU model from John Scott. It's based on the computer structure derived in the previous series. If you want to understand how each component is built and why they need to be arranged this way, please refer to previous videos listed in description. We will see how the three pieces are related by using an example problem, producing a Fibonacci sequence. We will see. What kind of instructions we need in order to solve this problem, and how to wire those instructions to perform those tasks, and then we will have the instruction sets to program with. Hopefully, after this video series, those hanging questions will clear a bit. Please subscribe to be notified.